Ladies and gentlemen, Executive Order 13269 provides that aliens and non-citizen nationals of the United States who have served honorably at any time during a designated period of hostility may apply for an expedited naturalization. The Marines stand for have completed the naturalization process upon arrival at Marine Corps Lukunti, Paris Island, South Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the commanding officer of the 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Dennis. Thank you for being part of this very special event. And first of all, I just want to tell you, you guys have kept the motivation up from the motor run to today. I really appreciate it. I know you're proud of these Marines, and they love to hear that motivation. So thank you so much for that. We <laughs> recognize these 16 new Marines for their extraordinary commitment to this country by making the decision to become American citizens. I'd like to first extend a sincere thank you to Mrs. Belzell and her staff of the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service for making this day possible. Thank you. You know, the diversity of America has always been one of our great strengths as a nation, and nowhere is this more evident and more appreciated than in our armed forces. Immigrants have always served honorably in our court, from the raid on New Province during the Revolutionary War to the beach assaults in the Pacific during World War II, and of course, most recently, to the patrols in the airplanes in southern Afghanistan. So it's important that we pause and celebrate the significance of the decisions made by these 16 individuals to become both United States Marines and American citizens. The Marines before you were from the countries of Afghanistan, Brazil, Canada, Costa Rica, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Haiti, Honduras, Jamaica, Nicaragua, and South Korea. Marines, we welcome you and your families to the United States Marine Corps and to the greatest and most important. Thank <laughs> you. 
their path to citizenship is especially remarkable because they first pledged their allegiance and themselves to support and defend the Constitution of the United States before becoming American citizens. Therefore, as we move forward with the ceremony, it is my privilege to present these 16 remains for naturalization. Each of them has been investigated and examined in accordance with the Immigration and Nationality Act. Upon these Marines taking the oath of allegiance, they will become United States citizens. To the Marines who will be taking the oath of allegiance today, as we recite the oath of allegiance, please remember the millions of men and women who have served for you and have defended our freedom since the birth of our nation. Their service and sacrifice helped make ceremonies like yours today possible. I now ask that all Marines taking the oath to please raise your right hands and repeat the oath of allegiance.
a citizen of this country. May God bless you, and may God continue to bless the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, U.S. CIS Senior Immigration Services Officer Karen Dalzell and the Commanding Officer of the 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Danielson, will now present the citizenship certificates. Please hold your applause until all of the certificates have been presented. PFC Gomez from Manassas, Virginia, originally from El Salvador. PFC Amaya from Mansfield, Texas, originally from El Salvador. Private Diaz from Houston, Texas, originally from Dominican Republic. Private Jarrett from Wilmington, Delaware, originally from Jamaica. Private Benitez Romero from Fredericksburg, Virginia, originally from Honduras, PFC Bay, from Los Angeles, California, originally from Republic of South Korea. Private Jaime Enriquez, from Miami, Florida, originally from Nicaragua. Private Escobar, from Elizabeth, New Jersey, originally from Canada. Private Hatay from Tampa, Florida, originally from Republic of Afghanistan. PFC Chavez from Saco, Maine, originally from Brazil. PFC Valverde from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, originally from Costa Rica. Private Borges from Boston, Massachusetts originally from Brazil. PFC Lehrer from Kings Park, New York, originally from Brazil. PFC Diaz from Miami, Florida, originally from Cuba. PFC Revelis from Tampa, Florida, originally from Haiti. Private Richards from Brentwood, New York, originally from Ecuador. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating our nation's new leader. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we will introduce the drill instructors of Company H and Company N. We ask that you please hold your applause until all of the drill instructors have been introduced. The senior drill instructor of the 2056 division, Staff Sergeant Smith from New Orleans, Louisiana. He is assisted by drill instructors Sergeant Gomez from Los Angeles, California, and Sergeant Schramm from Douglas, Georgia. The senior drill instructor of platoon 2057 is Staff Sergeant Lee Nichols from Chicago, Illinois. He is assisted by drill instructors Staff Sergeant Williams from Atlanta, Georgia, Staff Sergeant Diaz from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Staff Sergeant Grill from Venice Heights, Minnesota. The senior drill instructor of platoon 2058 is Gunnery Sergeant McCrohan from Taunton, Massachusetts. He is assisted by drill instructors Staff Sergeant Wilkins from El Paso, Texas and Sergeant Dobbins from Lubbock, Texas. The senior drill instructor of platoon 2060 is Staff Sergeant Krebex from Palmyra, New York. 
He is assisted by drill instructors, Sergeant Miano from San Diego, California, Sergeant Davis from Chicago, Illinois, and Sergeant Allen from Detroit, Michigan. The senior drill instructor of Platoon 2061 is Staff Sergeant Sasson from Riversville, Pennsylvania. He is assisted by drill instructors, Sergeant Morgan from Cuero, Texas, Sergeant Orozco from San Bernardino, California, and Sergeant Wexler from Louisville, Kentucky. The senior drill instructor of Platoon 2062 is Staff Sergeant Chamberlain from Omaha, Nebraska. He is assisted by drill instructors, Staff Sergeant Johnson from Albany, New York, and Sergeant Jean from New York, New York. The senior drill instructor of the 4026 is Staff Sergeant Chavez from Dallas, Texas. She is assisted by drill instructors Sergeant Martinez from St. George, Utah, Sergeant Corredo from Long Beach, California, and Sergeant Smith from Tonawanda, New York. The senior drill instructor of the 4027 is Sergeant Harris from Alliance, Ohio. She is assisted by drill instructors Sergeant Stevens from Chicago, Illinois, and Sergeant Olmo from Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Ladies and gentlemen, the drill instructors of Company H.